They scored another four on Saturday, but Charlton Athletic still salvaged a point from their visit to Portman Road. Ipswich should have ended 1990 with their first league win for more than two months. They began positively enough, Neil Thompson's surging run creating the opening for Mickey Stockwell to put them ahead after just six minutes. They were two up after 20 minutes. Jason Dazelle picking out Thompson's run into the area. Ipswich could and should have scored more, but they allowed Charlton to reduce the deficit on half time. Andy Peak on target with a free kick. And after 63 minutes, Charlton were level. Paul Mortimer snapping up the rebound and celebrating with his own Christmas party piece. Then the finale really got underway. Ipswich going 3-2 up after 65 minutes. Dazelle the scorer. 68 minutes and it's 4-2. David Lowe's pass, Simon Milton's goal. 76 minutes and it's 4-3. Charlton pouring forward in the pouring rain. Alex Dyer pouring on the agony with the shot that Craig Forrest nearly stopped at the second attempt. It ended 4-4. A corner and a penalty for Charlton. Harshly given, it seems, for handball against Tony Humes. But Tommy Caton made the most of his chance, and Ipswich were left to wonder just what they have to do to win another league game. You've got to earn the right to, to win your games, and uh, you know, we're having a little bit of difficulty at the moment, but you know, the lads showed today we can play. Um, you know, we played first half hour, we played some of the best football we've played all season.